Alrighty, folks, let's shatter any illusions. I am unabashedly jumping on the bandwagon. Spinergy delivered this spindle to my doorstep without a price tag. So prepare for an avalanche of bias. But seriously, who could maintain a stoic facade in the face of this behemoth of German engineering? As we kickstart this journey, my goal is to untangle the complexities of the spindle over a series of videos. Each chapter aims to guide enthusiasts of all skill levels through the wonders of this German marvel, making its genius accessible to all. I'm venturing into uncharted waters with Spinergy's auto tool changing feature, a first for both me and my website. Together we'll navigate this learning curve, unveiling the intricacies of the sophisticated spindle. Now let's line up our contenders, the boisterous router, the unassuming Chinese spindle, and the sophisticated Spinergy spindle. Here's our old buddy, the humble router. Changing its tools is akin to a seasoned woodworker switching out his favorite chisels. A manual ritual before crafting begins. But here, it's a wrestling match. You arm yourself with a couple of wrenches and square off against the stubborn collet nut. A twist here, turn there, and after a little tussle, the tool is freed, ready for the next contender. It's the noisy chatter in a quiet wood shop. And to make matters worse, this puppy has some serious run out. Run out is like a wobbly old table leg that makes the whole table shake. This shaky dance can lead to a rough edge. Especially with delicate end mills, that shake can wear them out faster, and they might even snap like a brittle piece of old wood. Now meet the Chinese spindle. But even with its soft hum, it still needs a hand, or in this case, a hand with a pair of wrenches, to duel with the collet nut, freeing the tool after a heavy struggle, much like our router friend. It carves smoothly, making clean cuts like a sharp chisel through fine grain wood. While its run out is a step up from the router, spinning more truly with fewer wobbles, it's not the pinnacle of precision. It's like a craftsman with a steadier hand, but not quite the master's touch. Now when it comes to keeping the peace in the workshop, it's quieter than the router, like whispers compared to shouts. But how will it stack up against the spinergy spindle in the quiet department? That's a tune we'll hum later in the series, although I have a hunch that the spinergy spindle might hit a softer note. And here's the maestro, the spinergy ATC spindle. ATC meaning automatic tool changing. It's the master craftsman that changes tools with a puff of air. No hands needed. Gone are the days of the wrench duels. This maestro changes tools like a seasoned craftsman swapping chisels, smooth and hassle-free. It's got tiny eyes keeping a watch on its spinning dance and temperature, like a skilled woodworker eyeing every detail. Okay, everyone. Hush for a moment. Did you hear that? I didn't think so. Let's cry. This German engineered marvel spins with a grace that outshines the rest. Its runout is a master class in precision, like a perfectly aligned saw blade, cutting true and clean with every pass. Let's explore the intricacies of the Spinergy spindle and unravel its features. At the core of the spindle lies a robust two-pole motor boasting a speed range of 0 to 30,000 RPM. This motor is a formidable 2.2 kilowatt, 230 volt powerhouse, geared up to take on a medley of materials and maintaining a torque of approximately 2.2 newton meters up to the base frequency of 400 hertz or 24,000 RPM. Much like its distant cousin from China, the Spinergy spindle requires a VFD, a variable frequency drive, to morph our standard 220 volts into a three-phase waveform. When it comes to connecting the spindle to the VFD, a 9-pin Speedtech straight connector steps into play. This compact connector houses pin 1 as phase U, pin 2 as phase V, and pin 3 as phase W. The lifelines of typical motor phases. Additionally, it harbors two pins dedicated to keeping an eagle eye on the motor's temperature, ensuring the spindle remains cool, averting premature maintenance woes. Pins A and B on this motor connector link up to the temperature sensor. The SK20 tool holder of this Spinergy X22 model is where our chisel meets the wood, clutching ER20 collets firmly, ready to accommodate end mill and tool shanks up to 13 millimeters or half of an inch. For the connoisseurs of automatic tool change, 
There's a dance of precision in motion. The automatic tool change spindle comes with planar support, ensuring the tool holder sits flush against the spindle, much like a well-fitted mortise and tenon, guaranteeing optimum centering and fixed axial positioning of the holders, minimizing any runout and keeping the tool path true to the craftsman's vision. The pneumatic connectors P1, P2, and P3 are the unseen hands that clamp and unclamp tools and cleanse the taper much like a craftsman preparing his tools before carving out masterpieces. Forget about fumbling with wrenches with this setup. The 17-pin straight Speedtech sensor plug resembles a meticulously organized tool chest with a capacity for 17 pins, although our spindle operates with six of these pins. This spindle comes with two inductive sensors akin to our trusty squares, ensuring everything is right and safe. Nestled within are pins that keep us attuned to the spindle's whispers, telling us tales of tool presence, tool absence, and ejection position, keeping us in sync with the heartbeats of our project. To keep the spinachy spindle from throwing a tantrum, a stellar cooling system is non-negotiable. I plan to recycle the same old cooling system I've used with my Chinese spindle. Yep, the one that's seen more wood shavings than a beaver's den. The good folks at Spinergy gave it a thumbs up for testing, but I'm keen on tweaking a cooling setup that ensures the spinachy spindle stays within the revered temperature guidelines. If my current cooling setup doesn't cut the mustard, it might be time to jazz up the heat exchanger with a more robust one flaunting multiple fans and rev up the flow to meet their specified minimum of 1.5 liters per minute. This way, the temperature of our one-third glycosol and two-thirds water mixture exiting the spindle stays within the 20 to 40 degrees range, just like it's supposed to. And of course, what's a cooling system without its sidekicks? I'll throw in some temperature and flow monitoring gadgets to keep tabs on things. For those who wish to stay cozy within the Spinergy ecosystem, and ensure their systems hum along without a hiccup. I will be offering the revered X-Cool from Spinergy and a smattering of other Spinergy accessories on the buildyourcnc.com website. Your spindle and your peace of mind will surely appreciate it. In the upcoming video, we'll work on setting up this cooling strategy, checking the sensor outputs and states, running the spindle to verify the RPM, and mastering the clamping and unclamping of the tool holder with the pneumatic ports and solenoid valves. As we wrap up our exploration of the Spinergy Spindle, I hope your gears are turning with ideas on how to harness this engineering marvel. Don't let the fun stop here. Click that subscribe button to join our community of creators and become adept at putting these machines into action. There's a vast realm of tutorials on microcontrollers and CNC technology awaiting you right here on my channel. Enjoyed our spindle saga? Smash that like button and drop a comment below sharing your thoughts or questions. Your engagement fuels my drive to keep demystifying the tech world. Until our next technological adventure, this is Patrick Hood Daniel signing off. Stay curious and keep crafting.